I'm fine. Ryan Gingrich. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, no problem at all. No problem at all. So you got a horse with some issues, huh? Yes, I do, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming to talk to me about her. Hey, it's no problem at all. It's long. She's gone through some tough times. Um, sometimes I see her come out, and she'll go to take care of her horses, and she'll step down and fall. Um, sometimes I see her get on a horse, and she doesn't really get up there that well. And uh, the rule of the farm was, before Ryan got here, was to, Debbie would never be on CC unless somebody was out there with her. Okay, go ahead, stop. All right, okay. Now I probably <laughs> begin. <laughs> now you're done, all right. Okay, you know what, what you guys are missing at home and what I got to see there firsthand is that Debbie's fear is just right on the surface, you know. Debbie has a lot of fear, the horse has a lot of fear, and she's trained the horse to be fearful of her. And we put those two combinations together and you just got a real bad situation. You know, we're gonna work on Debbie, we're gonna work on the horse, and, and we're gonna get this horse rehabilitated. It's just gonna take a little, little time and a little effort from both of them to be able to understand that we just need to create a new language with each other, so. Yeah, I mean, I've been riding horses pretty much all my life. So, you know, I never had a fear of climbing on anything until about four years ago when I was diagnosed with MS and I had some pretty severe physical issues and had to go back through therapy basically to learn to walk, ride, write, everything. And when Cece came along, it had been kind of pounded into my head by family and friends that, you know, you're not 100%, you're handicapped, you should take it easy, you shouldn't do this, you can't do that. I know. They do it trying to protect you and they think they're doing you a favor, but in essence, they're not. Basically, what they're doing is they're implanting those ideas in your head that maybe you shouldn't be out here doing this and maybe this is a bad idea and maybe you will get hurt. And it turned into a fear that I had never had before until Cece came along. And that's when I realized that this was a little bit bigger than I could handle and that not only did the horse need help, but so did I. Right there. Good. <laughs> I, I feel it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> like that's what he's been trying to tell me. <laughs> well, Deb, what do you think? I right. think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I know I like my horse a whole lot better. <laughs> well, good, good, good. You know, you got a long ways to go. Yes, I do. You know? I'm um, fantastic. This is just fantastic. It's been a great <laughs> week for us, and, and uh, Cece's done a really good job. And um, You know, you have a long ways to go. We're going to give you a basic control DVD and uh, get you set on a path to where we've, we've started you on. And you just got to keep continue on it, you know, continue on with what you're doing, continue on with this beautiful mare. You know, you're going to do a really good job. So. Well, I don't know how to thank you because I said I actually know what I'm looking for and I know what I'm supposed to feel. That's amazing. That's great. <laughs> That's a good feeling. Yeah, it is. Isn't it <laughs> that control is really a, a major part it's a of it. It's a beautiful thing. Yep.